And today I'll be teaching you how to make a flay. So the basic flay, which is 360 degrees flay. Okay. So a flay can be used to make your peplum top. You can attach it to a half top to form a peplum top. You can attach it to a gown to give you a fish gown. You can use it for sleeve, circular sleeve, and all that. So to make a peplum, to make a flay. You need to know the radius of your second friends. So let me get into that. Now, a flay looks like this. It's in circular shape. And you have the inner circle. So that by the time you lift it, okay, you have it like this. You have something like this, okay? And this is the top. So this inner circle is this top where you would attach to wherever you want to attach it to either to a half blouse to form a peplum blouse okay to form a peplum top or to either a gown to form a fish gown and you can also use it as a circular skirt okay a circular skirt so this particular part now this inner circle you want to know how to cut it to give you a perfect shape so you have a perfect flay to get this you have to know the radius of your circumference what do i mean by circumference wherever you be attaching this to be it the waist be it the knee area or wherever so you have to measure round let's take the waist for example you measure your round waist so your round waist measurement you will have to divide it by 6.28 now this 6.28 i don't want to take you too deep into it it is from mathematics gotten from pi r okay gotten from pi r square that is the radius for a circle okay to find the radius of a circle you need to know pi r square so that is where 6.28 came about so this is just standard don't bother going deep into it. Just know that if you're making a flay, divide your circumference by 6.28. You will get the radius. The radius is what we need, okay, to measure in order to be able to cut this inner circle. That is what the radius means. So R is for the radius. So to get your radius is your circumference divide by what? 6.28 so that is just what you need to know so here the circumference like i say is the waist okay the waist so the waist measurement here is 40 so 40 divided by 6.28 that will give me 6.3 then i can approximate this to 6.5 for easy understanding okay for easy understanding so now you know how to get the radius of your you know like i said the flay is a circular object so to get the radius of a circle what you do is divide the circumference of that circle by what 6.28 so we want to know the radius of this inner circle that is the waist where we'll be attaching this peplum to the waist so the radius of the waist 40 the 40 inches okay is the, is the, the circumference of the waist the radius is what that 40 divided by 6.28 so just take this is a, is a standard formula 6.28 you don't need to deep deep how it came about it's just how to find the radius of a circle so that is it about how to get your radius okay so now you want to fold your fabric to start cutting your flay how do you fold your fabric in order to avoid waste okay because you have to fold your fabric before you cut out this radius and you cut out the length of your flay so to do that what you will do is the your radius plus the length of the flay how long you want your flay to be so you add the radius to it here i said the radius is what 6.5 
Now, how long do I want this flay to be? If you're making a peplum top, you would minus the flay part from the full length of the so of the blouse, okay, to get the length of your flay. For example, if the length of your flay is 20, the length of your blouse is 26 inches and your half length is 14 inches, you have to minus 14 from 26. Whatever that is left will be the length of your flay, okay? So if this is your blouse, just don't mind the drawing. If this is your full length of the blouse from here to here, you know you have to minus the length of the top of the half, your half length. You minus it from the full length. Then whatever is left is the length of the flay you'll be adding to it. So that is what we are doing here. To know how to fold a fabric in order to avoid waste. So what you do is your radius plus the length of your flay. So here I want the length of the flay to be 20 inches okay so it's just going to be like a circle skirt so the length is 20 inches so whatever length you you want your flay to be what how long or short you want your flay to be that is what you would place here your radius plus your length the length of the flay so here it will be 26.5 inches so 26.5 inches is the length of fabric i would fold at so let me get to the fabric and show you. Now I have this. I'll fold at 26.5. Now, this is the top of my fabric. I want to fold. What I'll do is to measure 26.5. So you can just measure 26.5. Then you fold at it. Okay. So I have 26.5 here. So I will fold. Now you can add your allowance, so the seam allowance, that is sewing allowance. So I'll add, you can add like one inch or two inches. Okay, so I'll add one inch. 26.5 plus one inch, that'll be 27.5. Then I'll fold at 27.5. So you just fold at that. So by the time you have folded it, you can now cut your flay from here without having to waste a lot of material. So by the time you have folded it this way, you have to still fold it again into four. Now we have folded this way. We measure 26 or 27.5. We folded this way. Okay. So you still have to fold this way again. So you can see what I'm doing. I folded this way. I'll still have to fold like this again. Then I would mark my radius here and let me show you everything on the fabric. So I folded at 26 like this. So make sure it is aligned at the other end also. Make sure you also have 26 or like we have here 27.5. So I'll have to measure this side also to be sure. So this side is longer. I will reduce it to that 27.5. So this is it here. I have it here, 27.5. So you measure this side and you measure the other side, making sure you have the same figure there, the same length, okay? So this is it. Now I can fold, like I showed you. You fold like this into four. So what you'll be having is a square. So by the time you fold, you can still measure to be sure, okay? You can still measure to be sure you still have your 27.5. So if it's not up to, you have to still increase it. You have to make sure you fold it very well. You have that 27.5. Let me just fold it at 28, okay? So that I will see where to cut out from. Then you can hold that side with your pin then measure the other side because this fabric is a kind of soft so it's moving so you can just hold it down with your pin but if you're dealing with african prints it's thick enough to stay so i just want to be sure that i have the same length at both sides so i've measured 28 I just added half inch extra so that when i'm i've cut in when i've got in my length i can see where to cut out from then i'll measure this side also 
measure 28 and fold at it okay so now i have 28 on both sides so the next thing to do is fold it into four like i showed you on the paper so by the time you fold you have this So just arrange it well. You have it here. So now, after folding, after folding it, you come to this tip. You see this side? This side of the fabric. This side is open. Okay, this is the side where you folded at. At this tip, this side is not open. That is where you measure from. That is where you take your radius from. So you can turn it this way. This side. That is where you cut or you measure your radius from. Okay, you can see this other side where we folded. That's not where you measure from. You measure from this side that is not um, open. Okay, so let me show you with the paper. Now, this is it. We folded like this and folded into four. So from this part, you will take your radius. So I said my radius is 6.5, but since I'm cutting, I want to show you the paper. Let's assume the radius here is one inch. So you measure one inch from this tip. You, you place your tape, you measure one inch like this. So this one inch, you just measure it round. You keep measuring it, making sure your tape is placed at the tip of the fabric where you folded the fabric. You keep measuring your one inch like so. You keep going this way, okay? You keep going until you've gotten to this side, okay? You just keep measuring. And by the time you're done, you connect the points like this, okay? So this is your radius. You have measured your radius. One inch, one inch, one inch, all through. Then you mark it. Now, from this point where you have measured your radius, you can now place your length, the length of your flay. So let's say the, the length of the flay is two inches. You start from there. You mark two inches. So you keep going like so. You mark two inches from that point. You keep marking two inches. You keep going like this until you get to this side. Okay. You also mark your two inches. Then you carefully connect. So by the time you have connected this point, then you cut it out. Okay. So let me cut it out to show you. You can see what we have here now. So I'll just cut it out. So just cut out. This is the length. Then this is the radius. So you can see what you did. So you can, you can see the way I told you to fold it. The length, the radius plus the length of the flay. That is what you cut. So by the time you have cut it out, you open it and you have your flay. So this is flay. So when you open it up, you can see the rounded shape, the full roundness and this inner circle. Okay, you can see the roundness. Then this is it. This is your flay. Okay, so you can see the flay. This is your flay. So I'll cut it on my fabric. So I said my radius is 6.5. So I'll measure 6.5 from the edge of the fabric. I'll mark 6.5 like so. So I'll just keep marking 6.5. I'll go like this. I'll keep marking my 6.5. So I have it here. So you can make the marks closer. So it will be easy for you to connect. So you have a perfect circle. So 6.5. So now I'll carefully connect. So this is it. Just carefully connect it. So this is it. So this is my radius. From this point to this point, like so, this is my radius. So now I'll take the length of my flay. So I said the length is 20 inches, then plus one inch sewing allowance or hemming allowance. So I'll mark at 21 inches. So I want you to see this. So from the radius here, 
I'll take the length of my flame. So 21 inches. So I'll keep marking at 21 inches from this radius. So if you want to have a perfect 360 degree flame, this is how you should do it. There are different ways of cutting flame, but sometimes when you use other methods, you don't get that perfect shape, that perfect 360 degree flame. So this is the way to have your 360 degree flame, okay? So keep marking at the length of your flame. Just keep going like that. You can try to just give it a short distance. That is the marking so that it will be easy for you to connect. So I'm marking at 21 or 2. you get to this point you also mark your 21 inches so you can see you can see why i say you have to measure it okay you can see my radius from here to this point is my radius and from there from here to there is my length so the rate the length plus the radius that is the radius plus the length will give you the idea of how to fold your fabric in order to avoid waste you can see i have just exactly where I would cut so it's only half in that be coming going out from that part but this other side there's no problem by the time you cut out the rest will be there you can use it for some other things so now I would connect the points I'll connect the points then afterward I'll cut it out okay so just connect the points so let me mark it closely just connect carefully like so just carefully connect the points so I have it here so now I can cut it out so you can first of all cut out the full length then you cut out the radius so I'll cut it out now is it so i'll take away this one and now i'll cut out the radius and i have it here so you can see the flay okay this is our flay this is the up parts where you attach to wherever you want to attach either to the waist or you attach band to it and it becomes a circle skirt so you can see this other side by the time i fold it this way you see it clearly okay this is it so this is half part of it so by the time i open it up you have it this is your flay this 360 degree flay So this is it. This is the 360 degree plate. So the next thing now is to open it up. Okay. So by the time you open it, this is it. So this is a big flay. This can be used for circle skirts. This can be used for circle skirt. So if you're making a peplum top, you cut your flay to the length you want, and you also take the radius you want that is a circumference for wherever you'll be joining it to so if you'll be joining this to a, a peplum a, a half blouse to form a peplum top 
you measure the round waist of the person then whatever measurement you have there you divide it by 6.25 so this is it okay this is how to make your flay and this is 360 degree flay so this is it okay so you can see the inner circle this is the inner circle you can see this is a very big peplum a very big flay because of what i want to use it to make so it's a big flay so this is it. it is a perfect 360 degree flay so depending on the size you want you just cut and you get what you want so if you'll be attaching this to the waist this is where you would attach to the waist so you can see it okay so i'll be using this for something else and the video will be coming up soon so turn on the notification bell after subscribing do make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel hit on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you'll be notified when i upload a new video so i'll be uploading a video on what i'll be using this flay to do okay so give this video a like and share it with your friends don't forget if you have not subscribed just hit on that subscribe button it is actually free you have nothing to pay when you subscribe so thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye